just being a researcher, not really a job, just researching things. I think uh, obtaining uh, more degrees, but uh, with just look what do I need, which degrees, which information do I need for my uh, goal. Like my goal is artificial organs, so uh, yes. So replacing organs by electronic counterparts. Two and a half, he went to uh, to uh, kindergarten, and I think at the age of three, they told us six months later, they told us very special. Yeah. You should start a primary school at the age of four, and normally in Belgium they're six or seven years old. He uh, did in one uh, one year. And at seven, he started at um, second at his secondary school again without skipping anything. He did in one and a half year through his uh, primary school and secondary school so fast. Now he has all the time of the world to spend wherever uh, he likes. A lot of hard-working people, uh, students calling themselves prodigies, but they're not prodigies, they're just hard-working. If you can do something like Laurent, not work hard, and do fast on all levels, then, in our opinion, you, you can call yourself a genius. To we'll give you an anecdote, sometimes his friends have to do a lot of homework for school. And then Laurent goes in their room and they're finished in five minutes. And then they come out and go playing. Laurent says every subject is very easy. Actually, yes, it's, it's, it's very easy, so I go very fast. Food. Now you see Laurent gave up Eindhoven. But what he's doing now is like a hundred times bigger. The problem started when Laurent told he wants to go to a uh, uh, different country for, for his PhD. And then they started to do difficult. And in our opinion, it's Laurent's decision. It's his life and we don't care what the university thinks. And Laurent has so much offer for his life and he should do whatever is fun for him and not because what the university thinks and Laurent is not their belonging yeah, and not their possession like so and sometimes for people and also for us it's very difficult to understand why he makes so he's, he's always 10 steps ahead that makes him uh, very uh, very special if it isn't fun anymore why should you stay if we don't educate Laurent he educates himself a lot of people think that as prodigies are some people with very good grades, people working at university all the time, but for Laurent, prodigy is something else. In his opinion, so somebody like Bill Gates or Elon Musk, those people have much more impact on society. Do you know the Nobel Prize of 87? I don't know either. So it was not somebody important. If it's important, you would have remembered. But if I ask you, you know Bill Gates, you know Elon Musk, you say, yeah, I know, because he had impact. You know, they, they change people's lives. But he's now doing a PhD and also some uh, different uh, studies. I think in uh, until March, until March he traveled, he flew with the plane Monday, he came back on Wednesday, on Friday or Saturday he left, it, it, he, he was flying a lot. But Laurent uh, is now at different universities, so he's not at one university and, that, and that's not the thing we prefer because we believe every country, every culture has its benefits and Laurent wants to integrate in their culture and learn the way they think. I'm a dentist uh, and we work like six days a week uh, from very early in the morning till late in the evening. So Laurent was raised until last year. He was raised completely by his grandparents. They, ask, uh, they buy for him. They always make his favorite food, uh, a lot of kisses. Laurent is very, 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 very spoiled make as much artificial as possible. He believes in cyborg kind of people. 
that you can extend life by replacing uh, body parts by electronics. We had uh, contacts with uh, a very large uh, Chinese company approached us. Unfortunately, I cannot mention a name, but they have research centers in a lot of universities worldwide. Yeah, but uh, for now, Laurent is not into the companies now, but maybe in the future he should think about uh, that. Yeah.